Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Um, it's quite a sad video today. Um, if you don't already know, the um, British comedian, Rick Mail, has um, unfortunately died at the age of 56. Um, I'm still I'm still in shock now. Um, I found out yesterday um, uh, that he passed away. My sister told me she was on the internet. She told me, and I was shocked. I haven't thought about anything else over the past few hours. It was the last thing I thought about before I went to sleep, and it's the first thing I thought about when I woke up. Um, so yeah, I'm really down, man. You know, um, I'll be such a big fan of him. of his DVDs and I'm such a big fan, you know, of him and Aidan and so on. <sighs> you know, it's a real shame. Lots of words really, I don't know what to say. Um, I see it's hit a lot, a lot of his fans hard as well. I've seen a few uh, tribute videos already, um, showing their respect for the, for the great actor, for the great actor and comedian that he was. Um, yeah, he was, he was in some of the greatest shows ever made on British TV, or TV, you know, not just in Britain, but the whole world, you know. The young one, um, um, I'll show you. Actually, no, this is a um, book. Um, this is a book of Bottom, they did a great TV show, Bottom, that he did with Aid Edmondson. It's, uh, it's about how they made it and everything, you've got some, um, I'll show you the pictures here. Uh, good scene how the scene when they were doing the uh, scene in bottom where Richie breaks his leg. Classic TV series bottom. Uh, I've got a box here which I've had for um, quite a few months now. It's, I did it, it's uh, the Rick and Aid box I've got here. It's got loads of his stuff. Um, we've got more stuff we really. ate. Um, they did in his own home with Aid Edmondson. Um, I'm going to show you here. I mean, this, I'm, I'm really upset about this. Really upset. I'm not going to be able to see this guy on TV again. It's a real shame. At 56, that's far too young. Um, this is the young ones. I've got the complete series of that one too. One of the funniest, funniest sitcoms ever made. I mean, Rick Mail was fucking awesome in this. Awesome. Really awesome in this. This is a this is a dangerous but This was classic. I love this. This I've got a poster over there as well of when they did um, the um, yeah the the dangerous brothers. I've, I've had that since my um, last birthday. I got that for my birthday last year. I was well chuffed. But yeah, this is um, um, the day so I made it. Uh, the dangerous brothers. We can aid you. This is, this is this is this is brilliant. This is really funny, and like, like I agree. A lot, a lot of people said he was one of those comedians you could you could walk on, whether it be a TV show or stage or whatever. You pull a face, and everyone would be laughing their heads off because he was so funny. You know, he was hilarious, um, and it's and it's a so it's, it's a really big loss for for comedy. Um, this is a filthy rich and cat flat that he did. With uh, Aid Edmondson and Nigel playing the air planner. Um, only ran for serious, but it was very, very funny, very underrated. Um, this, is, uh, this, is, this, is, this is a great show he did. This was the uh, Alan Bastard he did, a character he played in uh, The New Statesman, um, which was a, gr a great show. Um, yeah, he, he, was, he was playing an MP and uh, it was just hilarious, you know. I'll see if there is a show. Um, and finally, well, probably my favourite out of all the bottoms three series there. Uh, classic, one of my all time favourite shows. Um, just amazing performances you put in here. Just so, so funny. Hilarious in the show. Um, He's got some great moments there, the Halloween one, the Gas Man episode, you know, the camping episode, they're all great, great episodes, hilariously, hilarious. Um, yeah, just absolutely hilarious. This was the 
bottom lines you do, which were also equally as epic. I mean, epic as the series. Um, hilarious. Uh, the, the, the first two, especially, are some of the funniest comedy material I've ever seen in my life. And I mean that. These three here. This is a being, um, being believe nothing. Sorry, so it's weird. Yeah. It's, it's weird because the cover of the disc is printed a bit faint. But anyway, um, believe nothing. Um, this was a short thing. It is very, very funny though. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I felt he, he was underrated. Like many people have been saying, you know, to a certain extent. Um, I think he was. He should have won more awards than, than he did. I felt, yeah, I felt that um, he was he, he is one of the greatest comedians of all time, if not the greatest that's ever been on TV. Um, and yeah, um, a lot of shows and comedians they often picked up these awards and he didn't, which uh, <clears throat> I didn't think was right because I felt he deserved some, you know, some awards because I felt he did. He is brilliant. He, he, he was in and he even made because he, he co-wrote it. He co-wrote um, Bottom and The Young Ones, um, which was just amazing shows. This is a Bottom Minus Five. It's just some great clips from Bottom. Um, this uh, this is a really this is a really good film. It's uh, little little noises. Sorry, sorry, sorry. little noises. Um, um, yeah, this is a really good film. He, he was playing more of a serious role actually this film. He could do serious, he could do comedy series, he could do anything. He was he was really talented. Not just as a comedian but an actor as well. So yeah, um <coughs> that's my collection there. Um also got a poster over here which I'll show you. Sorry about that, just not the box over. Poster over here as well. And that's one of his dangerous brothers. That, that, that was awesome, that was, that was awesome. Um, there, um, yeah, um, just a real loss, you know. Um, I went pale when I was told. I just, you know, although most of the stuff he did was before my time. I, I've been watching his shows on repeats and DVDs for years now, and yeah, it's just a, a real big loss. Um, yeah. Um, unfortunately, they don't know how he passed away. Um, I just hope he didn't suffer. That's all I say. Um, um, it was very sudden, I believe. So. I just didn't expect, you just don't, you just don't expect to, to read this kind of thing, you know, particularly for an actor you really like, who's only, it's only his 50s, he's 56, it's far too young, you know, he, 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 I felt he, he still, he still had plenty of time, you know, he could have, he had, he still had a, I couldn't really phrase it, I felt, yeah, I felt he, he could have gone on and do it to do a lot more things, um, I was, I was hoping to see another series at bottom. They were they were nearly going to do it a couple of years ago. Fortunately, they didn't. Um, um, they just. Um, it, fortunately, they, they didn't do it. Um, but yeah, um, I just can't believe it. Really, the fact that a couple of years ago they they were thinking of bringing bottom back, and then obviously he's passed away now. A real shock. Um, I can't think of anything else to say now. Um, but yeah, um, I'd just like to say to Big Mel, um, I know you probably won't be, probably can't see this, but um, I'd just like to give a little message saying thank you very much for um, all these years of entertainment and laughter you brought me. You are one of the greatest comedians of all time. Um, you know, the fact that he had this quad bike accident 16 years ago and uh, he could bravely, he, he come through it, you know, ever so brave person, he come through it and and it just, it's a shame that he had to die so young. Um, but yeah. 
Um, anyway, um, thanks for watching this video. Um, um, well, there's also another thing that really annoyed me. Was there was a newspaper headline which I thought was very disrespectful to the man. Um, there was a uh, headline that said. Um, said um cops called as a uh, weak man is found dead at uh, 56 and mystery surrounds act and I just felt it's a bit disrespectful the way they said it you know cops called as comedian dead I mean I thought that's really disrespectful you know really disrespectful and um, I didn't buy that because I thought oh, that's disrespectful I just think these newspapers are like to stir things up but there was nothing to say it was a mystery um, they're not treating it as suspicious, so I don't know why it would be a mystery. Um, obviously, I won't find out how he died, but I just hope he didn't suffer. But um, you know, the, the man's a legend, um, very well respected by everyone who worked with him and knew him. Remember, Ed Edmondson, he said um, recently that um, um, you know that it was a pleasure to work with him and. So they used to die laughing when they were writing. They used to love it. But yeah, um, yeah. And that's it now. Um, I'm a bit down, to be honest. But uh, yeah. Um, thanks for watching this video. Um, see ya.